In this video, we're gonna take a deeper look at what you can do in the product settings area in the Power Platform Admin Center. So we're here in the settings area now, and you can see product has behavior, features, languages, and privacy and security. So what do all of these do? Well, let's take a quick look at each of them and give you an idea. When you go to behavior, you're gonna see all of this information. So let's look at everything here. Auto save, by default it's turned on. If you wanna turn it off, you just change the toggle. Load default static content from Content Delivery Network. Share reassigned records with original owner. And open in application mode. All of these things are controlled by simple toggles for on and off. So if you want to turn something on or turn something off for the entire environment, this is where you do that. Underneath that, we have a formatting area. So the first thing is, what do you want the full name display order to be? So by default, it's first name. Might not be what you want. So you can do last name, comma, first name, or select any of the other options here. Display currencies using, do you want the currency symbol or the currency code? And what is your pricing decimal precision? By default, it's two. If you want it changed, you can do that here. Right-hand side of this area is display behavior. Use updated experience for classic settings where possible, and you can click learn more to check out what that means. Show app download message. Show legacy app to everyone, not just to admins. Um, I would highly recommend from the user experience that you keep that off unless you have a very compelling reason why your users are using the legacy app instead of the new Power Apps app. And then there's legacy app name. So by default, if you're talking about Dynamics 365, you know it's gonna say D365 custom. Show the welcome screen on sign on. You can turn that off if you want. Show dashboard cards and expanded state on or off and lookup behavior. So back at the product section, our next area to dive into is features. So here's the features area. And these are things like the AI Builder, which is cool. So our preview model is turned on by default. You could turn it off. Then we're looking at embedded content. All of these are turned off by default. So come here if you wanna turn on your Power BI visualization, your Bing Maps, and if you wanna prevent social data in Dynamics. Communications, by default your Skype presence is turned on, and your country region code prefixing for numbers is turned on. You can toggle those to off if you want. And then set for telephony provider, Skype or Skype for business. Collaboration, this is pretty cool stuff. So in eight, this is all in preview mode, but it's really neat. Do you want modern link sharing UI, co-presence and online status in your model driven apps? You would toggle that on, it's really cool. Asynchronous merge, do you want to allow merged record or records to merge asynchronously? You can learn more about that as well. And then we're gonna look at the right hand side. There's some search stuff here. Dataverse search turned on or turned off. Dataverse search is really neat. So let's just check out what the detail is here. When on, searches in supported product areas will use Dataverse search. All of Dataverse, how cool is that? Model driven apps will also receive those improvements. So it'll look at everything in Dataverse, not just the app that you're in. Quick find record limits on or off. Use quick find view of an entity for searching on grids and subgrids. Geospatial services, you could turn that on or off. Custom help by default is turned on. Has not the best custom help URL. I mean, it goes to Microsoft documentation, but if you have created a custom help library, this is a great time for you to throw up that SharePoint URL or wherever it is that you have your custom help. And once you do that, you know, there's custom help panes that you can turn on or off as well. Then we have Power Apps, Power Apps Component Framework for Canvas Apps, another preview thing. So this will enable your Power App Component Framework that allows the execution of code that may not be generated by Microsoft when a maker adds code components to an app. Allow publishing of Canvas Apps with code components. So this is turned off by default to protect you. You can turn it on if you have a reliable source that's providing your code. TDS Endpoint enables connecting from Power BI using TDS. And finally, record ownership across business units. This is really cool preview stuff. So you could turn it on or off. Try it in your sandbox first if you're interested in this. This um, will let a, an owner own records across business units, obviously, as it says. 
Um, so that's a really cool new feature that you can check out if it fits your business model. Then we have languages. Language settings takes you to the legacy UI. That's what this icon means. It means it's going to open up in the legacy settings. So there's no change here. This is where you would manage the languages that are turned on or turned off in your environment. And then our final area is privacy and security. If you want to show a privacy statement link for your org, you can put a custom link here. Default action to take when an error occurs. If an error message pops up, uh, do you want to ask the user for permission to send the error report to Microsoft? Do you want to automatically send all error reports to Microsoft without needing the user to press that button? Or do you never want to send that report to Microsoft? It's entirely up to you. Blocked attachments. You can see it comes with a lot of out-of-the-box file extensions that are blocked. If you need to add or remove anything to this, this is where you would do it. Set a custom session time out. So how long after a user has been logged in should I time you out and make you re-log in again? Um, so you can do that here. And then set inactivity time out. Now that's if you're just inactive. If you have your Power App open in a tab, how long will you be inactive before it automatically turns off? So again, you can do the same thing there. Once you're done, you would save all your changes and then you're ready to rock and roll. So that is our six minute deep dive into the product area of your Power Platform Admin Center.